guys, recently Pat McGrath came out with three new eyeshadow palettes and I think some liquid eyes and lipsticks. You can never tell unless you know the line, how much is new and how much is repackaged and renamed. But it's the palettes that were interesting to me. I looked at them and I thought, you know, I think I'm going to pass. The truth is I've been not interested in Pat McGrath for some time now for a couple of reasons, but the main reasons are her eyeshadows, while they are beautiful, are just not applicable to my life in any shape, way, or form. She usually has, in her big mothership palettes, she usually has maybe two mattes and one satin, and I like the satins a lot, but the rest of it is all glitters, and that's just not my life, and my eyes don't really do glitters that well because I'm so hooded. So when these came out, I did take a look at them. The one I thought I really had to get is Velvet Liaison, which is this one. And I thought I really had to get this because for years I said, I wish Pat McGrath would come out with a matte palette for those of us who just don't wear glitters on our eyes. It's just not appropriate for our lives. It's not flattering on us or it's only for special occasions. So, so much of her palettes end up being kind of useless to us. And she did it. The Velvet Liaison looks like this. And I hemmed and hawed and I decided I need to do it. I ordered it. It took a week. I'm in Los Angeles. They shipped from New York. It went Pony Express a week to get here. So here we have a cream. I always appreciate a cream and a dark brown that is neutral to cool. And here we have more of a beige. Or it's not taupe. It's a beigey color, so it's darker than a cream, and a warm mid-brown. And then here we have two kind of cool colors. So I think the idea is when they develop this that there's something for everybody, whether you like cool tones or warm tones, and this could be eyeliner, this could be your eyebrow, this could be either one of these, could be your mid-tone for your transition shade, and maybe that's what helps determine how these colors pull. That's what I'm thinking. I don't know. That's my guess. So I got them last night. I haven't swatched a single one of these. Like, I don't know. I think swatches are kind of not useful. But the two shades I do want to swatch are this one and this one. So I can really see what is going on because this is where the color is. Okay. And they look like this. So this actually could be a taupey kind of shade. Okay. This and this. So this one's pretty neutral. And they're swatching really nicely, especially for mattes. Okay, so that lighter one is darker than I thought it might be. And this and this. Liner shade if you're fair. Ooh. That's, they're all really pigmented. That's a pretty dark palette for me. So first I'm going to go cream all over the eyes. Okay, dusty. And just powder down. I already did powder my eyes with my Clay de Peau powder, which is also all over my face. But a little bit more. It gives a little bit of color, but, but not much. And I think I'm going to make this one my transition. This is the Ruffer O1 brush and lean the head back and kind of go where my little socket would be. Well, I do have a socket, it's just, it's not visible. I'm barely touching. And that's a really good way to do it. It's just a little bit above the eye when I open my eye. And I just wiped off the brush and now I'm just blending it. Transition. I feel like, I say this a lot, if you watch my eyeshadow videos, I will say oftentimes, you could stop right here. And you could. I'm going in with the 14 rubber with this one, which on my hand looks a little bit like a taupey brown. It has definitely some purple in it. And just going to go closer to the eyeball. And bring it down. And 
go by the lash line a little bit. Just a little shadow. That's nice. Wiping it off and blending it up a little bit. So I didn't prime my lids at all, just a little bit of powder to get rid of moisture on my lids. And then with the eye open, I'm sticking this brush right in the hood. Give that a nice transition. I like that color a lot. Mm-hmm. Now, honestly, on the day-to-day -day for me, I could just kind of, this would be it for me. But I feel like I need to do a better blend. My eyes are uneven like everybody else. You know, it's different how much space I have from my eye to my brow on each side. And this is a wonderful Hakahoto brush. And I don't know what number it is because it's rubbed off, but I think it's J2255. Um, I have my Hakahoto brushes and all my brushes listed down below. And in the case of the Hakahotos, just go to their website, look at the numbers that I provided and you can tell which one is which. Okay, nice blend. I mean, I want to go in with the concealer and take this away and give that some shape, but I'd rather just blend it really nicely first. But we can't just do a look with two eyeshadows, but I think that could actually really do it. Let's see what this looks like. I don't want a lot of it, so I'm going to take this Refer 13, which is quite small and great for small or hooded eyes. And so this kind of color, great if you have green, hazel, blue, gray eyes, or if you have really dark skin and have um, a reddish undertone. It's going to look like a natural color for you. Hmm. Once it's on the lid, it doesn't look as red. So on the hand, it's right here. But on the lid, and maybe it's because I have other colors going on, it doesn't have that much red in it. But it certainly, I don't think it's a, I don't think it's a warm color. So, so far I'm here, here, and here. And I haven't done the browns, but you know what? I think you could do something like this and this with a very similar effect as what I got here, but on a warm tone. So <clears throat> let's do a little bit of lining. Refer 26, which is a big pencil brush. This is so pigmented. <laughs> Maybe I should have done a, a smaller brush. But I'm not looking for a sharp line. I'm just going to darken up by the lash line. And it's so much softer than going in with a pencil or liquid liner, especially for those of us who are older or have creepy eyes. It's a softer look that gives you the same effect. See how it emphasizes the eyes without being hard like a liner can be? And if you want to, you can kind of make it a little bit more dramatic and take this line up with this darkness. And I'm not taking this all the way to the inside because I have smaller eyes that will just close up everything. If you like doing something underneath the eyes, I don't. I prefer really clean under the eyes, not even mascara because I don't want to call attention to the war zone under my eyes. It's not good. But I'm going to take this BK Beauty brush in 201 and pick up some of that darkness, but it's way too dark for me, and add this cream, although I think maybe this shade would have been a better idea. <laughs> Praying for a good result. Barely touching. And now wipe that off before I go in for a gentle, gentle blend. Again, I want to pull it out, but I don't want to go in too much. Yeah, I don't like doing things under my eyes. I think it just makes everything look smaller. And I just wanted to show you how you could do something that is a little too dark for you. 
Um, okay, I'm going to clean up with a little bit of concealer and do some tight lining and mascara and we'll come back and talk. So I'm doing my cleanup, you guys, which includes, <laughs> I need some concealer around my nose, which is very, very red. And then I did a little fix here and it lifted the eye up. So for me, I feel a little trick for you. I feel like when I do something under the eye, it just pulls everything down, even though I'm lifting up. And I went in again. This is a trick of mine that I've showed many times, but not every time. And if you're new, you probably have never seen it. But because my hood is so deep, it goes outside my lower lash line. And if I'm doing this when I'm doing my makeup, I'm going for this straight line. When I open my eyes, it pulls up. And I just changed everything on this side, where now it's lifting up with this little trick. I go in with a concealer brush. I don't necessarily have concealer on it. I do right now because I put some on my nose. But I don't clean this brush very often. So there's usually a little bit of a remnant. And I do an inverted V. So we're used to V's going this way with the point here. This, the point is on the inside. And I take it right here. So that when I open my eyes, this shadow isn't hanging down right here. So you can relax your eyes, see where's that shadow hanging down, mark it, and that's where you want to do your inverted E, V. Really light hand, then press it with the finger so it's not a hard line, and boom, it's so much higher. And I think it did the same thing on this side. Okay, now I'm going to finish everything up, and we'll come back and we'll talk. All right, you guys, this is the full face. I did the mascara, which I don't, I didn't do like a haul video on this because I've been buying little things lately or a couple of little things at a time. But the Tower 28 mascara, this is a tubing mascara, entirely different than any tubing mascara I have ever tried. I love tubers because they fall away. They're not hard to take off. But they also usually leave a really natural effect, which I very much enjoy. Victoria Beckham is one of my favorites. Kevin O'Quan one of my favorites. Thrive is very good. But this one actually gives me a really full lash look. And all I did, this one coat, you guys, I just placed my eye in the curve, dug for a second, held, and pulled through, and it was like, wow really nice. I don't know if I'd want to build on this because it might get a little bit clumpy, but I thought it would be more appropriate for this eye look than my usual fluttery eye look. So this is the look, you guys. This is the color story. It, yeah, I just feel it's a teeny bit dark for, for me, and it feels as such a little bit dressier. For instance, if I was going out at night, but I didn't want to do glitters or anything, I think this would work very well for me. On the day-to-day, -day, it's a little bit darker than my preference, but I think the colors are very nice, and I think they've given it enough variety to hit a lot of different undertones, and I was just surprised, because I thought this was going to be a bit of a mauve story, but it, it's not. It's, it's kind of taupey. I think if you have a warm undertone and you prefer warms, you can absolutely, this is a cooler look, right? Just don't use these two and go here and here and here and here, and you're going to get a nice warm look as well. So I think that was her goal, like a daily palette. The powders, I can't say I'm an expert because I only have bought maybe three of her motherships, maybe four of her motherships, and I can't say if this formula has changed. I think that this is something that you could use in conjunction with something else. Of course, it's like, okay, I have a nice matte thing going on here, but I want a little bit of something, something. You can go in with Boy Tears, for instance, from Hindash. Dispense on my finger. You can, you know, pop it right in, but if you are uncertain of your skill, pick it up and do a little bit of something right here. That's pretty, and actually that really, whoa, that really helped to make my eyes bigger. Are you kidding? This little bit right here, I feel like this eye, the whole thing looks so much bigger. Unless I just had a stroke. Wow, that really, <laughs> that really did something. 
You could, of course, do a little bit, a little tap right here. It might be nice by candlelight. You know, just to add a little bit of something, but I actually appreciate that, that there's no glimmers and shimmers and glitters in here because we all have them. We can just dip into our favorite and do a little bit of something. And now, I, I don't know, I'm picturing this um, a nice candlelight dinner uh, more than office. And you guys, let me know what you think. I'd love to hear from you. And I hope it was helpful. And I hope you come back again. Until we meet again, be safe and smart. And I'm wishing you good health.